Hi, I'm James Detour with SBNation.com, and I'm here today because I'm going to do something pretty dumb again. We learned on Monday night that Kentucky quarterback Will Levis likes to eat his bananas a little bit differently than the rest of us. That's a pretty bold statement to make. I mean, it's a banana. It's the world's most perfect fruit. It comes in its own packaging. It's protected. They're delicious. But Levis takes it to the next level by eating the banana, peel and all. But not just any banana, specifically the brownest, grossest bananas that you typically find. Now, I don't know about your household, but fresh bananas rarely last at the Detour house. So I went this morning to the grocery store and found an old gross one. It was on the clearance produce shelf. It cost me 12 cents. Uh, and now I'm going to attempt to eat it, peel and all. Now, I've done a lot of really dumb food things here on SBNation.com. I've had banana and mayonnaise sandwiches. I've put hot sauce in my eyes. I've eaten whole cloves of garlic. But for some reason, this one bothers me even a little bit more. Last night, in preparation for this, I did a little bit of research. I learned some banana facts. It turns out that a whole bunch of health gurus and clean eating advocates have been saying you should eat a banana peel and all for a really long time. But banana scientists, scientists who study bananas for a living, and yes, that's an actual job that exists, say there's really not much benefit. Sure, there's a little bit of potassium and you're going to get a great amount of fiber from banana peel, but really it's not worth the hassle. Plus, they suggest that at least in commercial Western bananas, uh, the idea of us eating the peel subjects us to all sorts of potential pesticides and chemicals that they've been sprayed with. So I scrubbed this banana thoroughly, which is a disclaimer mostly for my wife because she was deeply concerned about this last night. So honey, I'm eating a scrubbed clean banana. Um, I guess there's nothing else really to do. So like looking at the banana itself, I'm not going from that end because I'm an idiot, but I'm not a maniac. Uh, this is the end that Levis attempts to go for. It tends to be kind of the grossest, blackest part. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that, but, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. It can't be that bad, right? Let's try. Okay, so I'm going to say it's not bad, but it's absolutely not good in any way, shape, or form. This is not a good way to eat a banana. All of the sweetness and banana flavor that you get, well, from a banana, is completely mitigated by the fact you're eating leathery, tasteless, sinuous peel that kind of makes the whole experience pretty gross. Um, but that was just the very end. So I'm going to try and take another bite. This one will have less, I guess, end peel. So maybe the experience will get better. Okay, so I will say bite two, substantially better than bite one. I think the fruit to peel ratio was a little bit better. It had a better mouth feel. Um, still not a great experience because you've kind of got this duality of textures going on where the banana, probably because this is an exceptionally brown banana, is really, really soft. And then you're just chewing on the peel forever when your body's telling you like, or muscle memories like, oh, you're eating a banana. It's time to swallow now. But you've got these big hunks of leathery peel still in your mouth. Um, really, I think I should take like one more bite here just to really give it, you know, the best chance of really saying I've done this. Um, let's go for let's go for a big bite. Hmm. 
Mm. So I'll, I'll, I'll say this. If you're going to give this a shot and try eating a banana, peel and all, it really becomes a very different banana eating experience. You really have to kind of think about your bite size, your ratios. It kind of turns it into a fun, weird game just to avoid how disgusting eating banana peel is. Um, now, look, that is to say I am fully aware that that is my cultural bias speaking. Plenty of cultures around the world eat banana peels. I know there are lots of Indian recipes that call for them stewed in curries as a way to add fiber and texture. I know a lot of cultures enjoy eating banana peel. It's just for me, as somebody who's been, you know, enjoying this fruit for my entire life, it's just a very different experience um, taking it peel and all. And I said I was going to be done after three bites, but I feel like that's a cop-out um, because I don't really have that much banana left. Um, so I guess let's just make this super dumb and I'm going to try and eat the rest of this banana in one bite. Uh, that seems like a really bad idea, and I'm really good at having really bad ideas. So let's just do that, and we'll see if I die or not. Mm. Okay, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Um, yeah, let's not go into the details a lot. Let's just, uh, um, let's just say... Certain things happened with my gag reflex. I don't want this to get taken down off YouTube, and that's not something uh, we need. I apologize for the sound effects. So, look, I tried it. Would I eat it again? Probably not. Um, I have no interest in scrubbing a banana skin before eating it or waiting for the peel to get to the right ripeness. I couldn't imagine doing this with a uh, less ripe banana uh, or one that was... Uh, green, that would certainly be a very unpleasant uh, feeling, I imagine, but I I did it. Um, I guess congrats, Will Levis, live your best life, enjoy eating bananas with the peel on. I didn't particularly enjoy it, but I tried it. Um, so yeah, that's this is James Tor from SB Nation, uh, and I just had a pretty fiber-filled breakfast. See ya!